It is early morning, and I am a mess. Sleeping all alone in the dark. In my dreams I long amidst the restless stirrings of my heart. Painted waves fill my mind as poignant colors for my embrace. Yet these raw emotions splashing Clyde into a consciousness that I cannot escape. Running down the projected recesses of thoughts that I could not bear, I stumble beyond all pretenses into a chasm of self that I am not aware of. Who dares fabricate this dastardly shadow that looms forebodingly with drear and swallows me into the depths of my soul's marrow from which no familiar heart may come near? I am drowning in the eclipse of my other who knows no other love but fear. He drags me by the weight of my gravity further as my fading sentiments rise into the here. His darkness surrounds and embodies my presence, dissolving all of my light into despair. His void extends beyond all resistance, devouring my mind into disrepair. I am no more, and so by death consumed, Restoring the pitch as my sight. His shroud has cloaked around my life subsumed. To become the terror of the night. And as the last remnants of my self surface. Foretolling. This fateful tragedy in tomorrow. My anguish releases as his awful purpose. Along with the dawning morn of my sorrow. Yet within the undulating tide of the undertow, an omniscience transcends all of my own. Although I reside no more in the afterglow, I am forever found.